it is. Uh, hello, welcome to Deadlands. I am the Orc, the Orc of Truth. And this is going to be a game that could go fantastically well, or horribly wrong. But I'm not getting an altar just yet, so you might have a little incline, incline, inclination as to the fact that I'll be getting a neutral hero instead of the standard hero. So no Blade Master, no Torrent Chieftain, no Farseer, no Shadow Hunter. Just uh, keeping it real simple apparently, because I'm going to need to fast tech as well. I'm going to be that orc, that fast techs, and I'm going beast Aries. But I'm not going to go with ones. No, I'm going to go something slightly different. This is a suggestion from Delenis. And he wants me to go Pit Lord. P -p 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 Pit Lord with um, Mass Raiders for Ensnare. Now, it's going to be a bit of a stretch, to be honest, if he thinks that I might get a scenario where I can actually um, ensnare everything and then throw down Rain of Fire. I'll try, but the chances of that actually working? <laughs> Very slim. So we're going to use him as more of an assassin style. And it looks like. Ed Riven has already decided that he's going to be throwing down the war mills. Well, he's got one there. And um, towers to follow. I hope this guy's going for huntresses, because otherwise he's got no units. I've got no units. This guy's very slow on units. So, uh, <laughs> it's usually best to communicate with your team if you're going to do a tower rush. And a bloody terrible one at that. So, I imagine he's probably going to leave in a minute when this goes wrong. Because uh, that's pretty embarrassing, not to mention the fact he's not going to feel like he wants to play. Also, it's time for me to bring out the Pit Lord. I should have probably worked on that a little bit ago, because I forgot that the taverns are quite far away on this map. In fact, I have to go to enemy territory. So there's a good chance that that peon might get killed on the way. So I'm part tempted to send a second peon, just in the hope that if the first peon does get killed, I can actually still get over there. We've got six on woods. That's okay. And got two other peons that can come back onto wood as long as the pit lord has been selected. Oh, here goes the towers now. This is really bizarre. Does he want to take this expansion? Which he can do. And then we can push out towards the enemy. Is that the intention or is that just simply the way it's going? Ancient of Wonders. So Green is in for it. And there are no other buildings so from Green. So he's been feeding him obviously. But we're going to need stuff to follow through, you know. I guess part of me wants to go over there, but I don't want to... I'll check for expansions potentially in the middle, and there's none so far, so that's a little unfortunate. That would have been nice for the Pit Lord to uh, come across someone that wants to expand, but I'm going to go harass either this base or this base up here, not the one that they're currently doing, because that's where they're active. So um, we don't want to draw too much attention that way. Hopefully I get human that hasn't got an arcane tower. Oh, there's undead. And there's two people there. So he's just finished creeping. He hasn't used thingy. Oh, demon hunter. So I can't do much here. I'm just going to keep running to the right. I don't want to get into the demon hunter's base. Because that equals mana burn. And uh, that's not good for me. So I want to basically drag them away, if anything. So if I'm harassing on the far right side, there's no... Oh good, there's no tower. But I am ripe for a bit of the old militia. Oh, hello Archmage! <laughs> where are you going? Now the question is, can I get a rain of fire where he's going to die? Like there. Oh god, I think I got him because my health just went up. There we go. That was pretty huge. That's like map hack material. Anyway, this pit lord is now screwed because he's going to get mana burnt again. And then he's just going to have to re pretty much run around for the remainder of the um, game. I could have actually brought a peon up here to give him an orc shop. Hello. Where's the other mana burn? You saving it? Or well, maybe he went for immolation or something instead. Either way, this is two enemy heroes. Well, he's run away now, so I suppose I could venture over here. But part of me is like, maybe I should go back to base. Get the pillage. I'm doing very well for resources. It's not a stretch on me whatsoever. I'll just uh, hang around here, and his, his health, I'll just have to keep an eye on his health. He's pretty beefy for a level 1 hero, 750 health. It's quite a bit, it's more than the Torrent Chieftain. And he's a beast. 
Just gotta look for the opportunity. Oh! This guy must map hack. This guy must map hack. How the hell? Oh, well, uh, he was over here, so he possibly did see them. I take that back. If he was able to see these towers, fair play. And it's really my allies' fault, I suppose, to some degree, of, for not actually checking. But, um... If he didn't see, then that's a very suspicious style of play. But I just remembered, as I was saying it, that there was an opportunity here where he was creeping. And, uh... Oh, we're starting this again, are we? Yeah, he was creeping here, so he must have seen. Anyway, time to tech up again. Wood should start coming through. I hope. I'll see if I can ask for some cheeky wood. If I get some, then I can throw down an orc shop there. I don't think we've got the units to back this up, though. I'll give that to you. No, we've not really got the units to back this up. I get the feeling this might go down very quickly. This, The archers are a slight problem. The death knight, my goodness, he's not really paying much attention at all. But this is going to be very difficult. But one thing that does work in my favour, really here, is the fact that we've got all this pressure on the left-hand side. So that's pressure that the enemy are paying attention to. And they're going to be over here for a while, hopefully. And because of that, I can mass up my raiders and then go maybe take out, sack the human base or the night elf base. Preferably the night elf base. I want to get a good, um, there we go. Rain of fire. Get the most bang for my buck. There we go. That's the best I can really get out of that. And we're going to keep the raiders back for a moment because attacking with just two raiders... Ain't gonna do much. We're just holding out positions here. Shop should be up in a moment, so I'm gonna go venture back for that. What's Purple been doing this whole game, actually? Well, he's got the Torrent Chieftain, but I'm not sure what he's going for unit-wise. 1,200 gold, like myself. Quite a lot, but not really using it as efficiently as he maybe could be. Oh, he's built a shop as well. <laughs> Is that a barracks? It is, so he's going to try to go for that route. When we get about another raider or two, if anyone's got any spare wood, that'd be good. So this is just holding out, and that's all we need it to do, really. We don't need much more. Oh, good, someone actually has got it. It means more upgrades for my raiders, which means more damage. Let's try to put him off. Just make him run back. Raiders are pretty cheap. 180 gold, 40 wood. Not too bad. And that's a decent amount. I think when the next two come out, I'm going to slip over to the right-hand side of the map. Unfortunately, it's not really... I don't think going through the middle point, I'm going to give myself away. I think I have to go... I won't be able to kill a human base. Not with five or seven raiders. I'd need more than that. But the night elf base is possible if I can sneak in there without being seen. Which makes me want to go and buy a scroll of speed, which would be a really good idea, to be honest. You fail to eat something. So, I'm going to go get another scroll of B speed. Do not right-click my hero. Classic right-click of the hero. What are you doing? You're clearly not paying attention to the game, are you? If you're right-clicking my hero, and you haven't realised by this point where your hero is. What is he like, eh? Just coming along for a ride. Bit of the old ride. There we go. Now he's paid attention. So that was like a good 20 seconds. That guy was not paying any attention to his hero. 